Is there anything I won't do to make this A-frame for Airbnb here in beautiful Canyon Lake, Texas a reality? I'm getting the septic tank installed and then I'm running the entire plumbing system all by myself. I've never plumbed a house before, but here's how I passed a plumbing inspection by a master plumber as a first time DIYer. So let's start with the facts. If I hired a plumber to do this job, it would easily cost me $20,000. So I could cry about it, or I can just respect the game and start by getting a basic understanding of plumbing so I can make this thing happen. I started out by reading these books and watching a lot of videos on YouTube months in advance. So the first order of business is to get the septic tank installed. So I have these guys come out to do all of the excavating, all of the leveling, and finally, the most important part, placing this huge septic tank. This is a 600 gallon per day aerobic septic tank. It weighs about 17,000 pounds. <laughs> that is a lot of poop. Speaking of which, you guys want to hear one of my poop jokes? Ah, never mind, they all stink. So what's all this right here? Alright, so <coughs> this is your chlorinator. Okay. Put bleach in here. Oh, okay. Um just regular household bleach, you know, dollar for a gallon. For okay. So this whole thing will fill up with bleach. It's got a tube that will feed I can't remember where it goes from here. It goes into the whole system. Oh, okay, so this is kind of the start, I guess. This this is your control panel. Okay. It has all your computer stuff in here. Okay, this cool. This is an aerator. Oh, that's the aerator. So inside okay. that compartment, yeah. the way I put it, there's stones down there. Okay. And that's what it's like a, a filter, like a fish tank. Yeah. And then the air comes, blows through there, from this tubing into here and I guess into the stone. Cool. And then this purple pipe will hook up for your sprinklers. And then this is just a cover to protect this from mm. footballs and whatever yeah, else. Life. Yeah, hail damage. Yeah. So that's what you get right there. So now that the septic tank is installed, the real work begins. I decided to run the entire A-Frames water supply on PEX piping. PEX piping is cost effective and super DIY friendly. I'm going with crimp rings that are perfectly crimped with this Ryobi tubing clamp tool, which literally has go and no go green and red lights on the tool to let you know that your PEX piping is crimped to the fitting or not. I went out and got the T's, the elbows, the couplings, the half clamps, the test plugs, and a PEX pipe cutter. And I also bought a 42,000 grain water softener from Ream because Canyon Lake has some pretty hard water to deal with. So I have my water softener in the place where it'll eventually be installed on the back of it. So on the back of the water softener, they have the in and out valves already labeled for me. So I know if I'm gonna run my plumbing, I'll run it off of this stud right here. That's when I started drilling all the holes for the house's water supply line. Exciting stuff, it really is. Cool. Alright, this needs some crimps on it. Let's put some crimps. Alright.
right, this is looking good. All right, so it's the next morning and I'm back here at the A-frame and I have these pipes with me. So these are the insulating pipes that go over your pecs for underneath the house. The thing is with underneath this house, we're gonna have house skirting, but that doesn't exactly mean it'll be 100% dark underneath the house. And the thing is with pecs piping, it is UV resistant. Eh, it has struggles with UV. So let's just put it like that. Basically, you can corrode your pipes if light gets to them and too high of a frequency. So you have these to blacken out the light. Also, these really help with freezing. So it's kind of like buying insurance twice and they're actually pretty cheap. So I'm gonna put this under the house right now and then get to the next project. Now, at this point, I was having some trouble visualizing how I was going to run the drain waste and venting pipes underneath the house to the septic tank. So I called a licensed master plumber that has been plumbing hundreds, if not thousands of houses since the early 90s. And I paid him a one-time service fee, 80 bucks, to inspect all of my work so far and give me a plan on how to run the drain pipes underneath the house. When he came over, he also drew me a plumbing diagram for me on a two by six stud of exactly what to do. So after that, I dry fitted all of the PVC pipes, the elbows, the long sweep elbows, the street 45s, the regular 45s, the P-traps, the reducers, the Ys, and everything in between. And I sent my new plumbing BFF all of my work so far. Hey man, I want to send you a quick video of the progress so far so you can critique me before I glue everything up. So just starting from right here, that's that uh, front uh, kitchen or bathroom sink. I have that pipe going down at a 45 and then traveling all the way here so far. Oh, I have a little further, but just to show you. So I have, this is, uh, this is the shower. So I got a nice Y right there coming up to hit the shower and it comes down this is my vent right here so I have it venting here with this uh, this Y up to a little two inch pipe back to another Y and then it's doing a little 45 to 45 a little uh, street 45 deal going up <laughs> don't mind the extension cord um, and then over here this is this Y right here in this 45 with the two inch pipe and the other 45 is leading up to the washing machine. So basically I'm venting this whole thing here. So I have pretty much one vent for uh, the kitchen sink up here, the shower, and then the laundry is vented. And then I have it coming back this way, nice 45, hitting my three inch pipe. Uh, so this is my, my toilet, my water closet right here. Bam, I got it coming out, got to clean out on that by the way and just fyi so what i'm thinking about doing is hitting this with a revent so i haven't dropped it yet but i'd hit it with this let me know if this needs to be more of like a like a deeper y but reventing this toilet right here and then just letting it travel all the way down here to the end and i'll connect that and then uh double 45 it into the septic and then I'll catch the uh, the kitchen pipe coming over here, but that's gonna be pretty easy. So just let me know if that works, man. Thanks so much. After I sent the video, I'd realized I'd forgotten to add a P-trap for the shower, which my new plumbing BFF 
also noticed as well. So I went back and added that P-trap. There we go, right there. <laughs> After that, I made what's called a vent stack that effectively vents the entire plumbing system through the roof. So if you don't know the way plumbing works in most residential applications, you have a plumbing roof pipe, a PVC pipe going through your roof that's collecting air. So every time you flush the toilet or you're letting water go down the drain, that air is effectively helping to move that waste or that water down the drain every single time, so it's really important. The other vents I'm adding are called air admittance valves under the kitchen and bathroom sink just to add some more airflow. So now the only thing left to do is a pressure test for all the lines to make sure everything was properly installed. We should be good to go. After I finish everything, I text the master plumber a photo of everything I accomplished, and he gave me the all clear. And just so you and I are clear, there are no plumbing inspections in my county. So even getting a plumbing inspection is already going above and beyond. Want to see me crush more projects like this? Click on this video here. I'll see you guys on the next one.